AI is a technological nightmare and it's only going to get worse from here, along with the humanoid robotics market, which is hoping to put them in your homes as early as next year for the price of a car. We already know what people are going to use these for. It's not going to be assisting people with disabilities. It's going to be having a robot girlfriend. And these are things you can already do. You can take a celebrity's likeness and turn it into a chatbot. It doesn't have to stay in your imagination any longer. You can bring it into your real world. People are also using old text messages and voicemail messages to spoof their expired loved ones rather than dealing with grief. None of this is healthy for humanity. We're hunting ourselves in real life now. Along with the ongoing battle with studios who want to use expired celebrities or other celebrities' likeness so they don't have to pay them, people are also getting into relationships with large language models. And it feels real. But that's kind of the problem. AI has amazing power to help us do so many things. But it's also extremely harmful for the average person for a variety of reasons, aside from creating a stunted society where people don't know how to interact with each other or know how to do tasks. We're also creating a stratification in society for the people who actually do know how to do things. We know that AI cannot train on self, at least for now. That means that as there's more accumulated AI on the internet and it tries to train on it, the model collapses. So somebody does have to create things. Weirdly enough, that probably means somebody has to be in a healthy relationship too to model it. These tools can do a lot of good, but they are just that, tools. If we don't use them properly, it can do a lot of damage. And thank you for letting me be your heartbringer of doom in the new technological revolution.